What's going on YouTube? John Wick sniping here. Unfortunately, I'm a little under the weather. Um, but I wanted to be a little proactive today and kind of get out of bed and at least talk to a group of people that have been looking towards YouTube for a very long time for information regarding probably the most popular stock ever talked about at this point, AMC. Uh, no, I don't own any shares at this pr present time. Uh, that could change uh, if I feel that AMC, you know, presents a buying opportunity in order to make money. Uh, but the purpose of these possible, these videos, it may be more than one, but we're going to start with this one. And uh, it's going to be directed at anyone that owns AMC and uh, constantly looks at YouTube for information regarding AMC. Uh, and this can include YouTubers if they want to comment uh, on this video. And based on the comments, you know, I'll answer more questions on future videos. But I want to kind of call this a heart to heart uh, with anyone that owns AMC, like I said, and you're watching YouTube every single day and you're watching the same guys that you've been watching for a long time. Maybe you've added a couple here and there. And I just want to kind of first figure out on this video, what is the end game? with AMC like can you guys tell me in the comments like why is it that it has become so fanatical um, myself I've many times stated on videos that I don't even believe that there are as many people as it seems uh, that watch comment AMC, you know about AMC I personally think at this point it's a uh, social media narrative um, I don't know who's in on it. I don't know if YouTube, the entity's in on it. I don't know if AMC pays uh, for some sort of bottage, I'll call it, uh, where, you know, maybe they pay an entity that uh, can send out tons of uh, AI bots, I like to call them, uh, where they constantly, you know, influence people or the real people that watch YouTube in comment sections on multiple channels, on multiple videos, so on and so forth. Um, I'm trying to figure out what is the goal here these days. The stock market has spoken to everyone loud and clear. If you're watching YouTube and you're watching the, the, the stock market, you should know by now that the stock market's not going to allow anything to squeeze. I said this a year and a half ago. Uh, for anybody that's following my channel, and there are a good amount of you that, are still, that have followed me from day one, you know that I've been saying this for a long time. They're not going to just allow a stock to run 10,000%. And uh, I think you're doing yourself a disservice when you look at some other weird uh, pumped up stock and saying, ah, that stock did it like HKD, uh, where that was kind of just like a, probably a pump and dump coming based out of China is what we have speculated with that. Uh, but other than that, an American company is not going to pump up thousands of percent in the stock market. They're just not going to allow it. The latest way I like to compare what's going on in the stock market with respects to shorting unlimitedly on a stock is kind of like if maybe when you were a kid and you bet somebody like on a sports game and you know you took the bet basically and they, they were like, hey, um, I'll bet you $100 the Miami Heat are going to win let's just say, and let's say you had the Celtics, right? And uh, the Celtics won, and that guy owed you 100 bucks. And then he calls you up on the next game. He says, hey, let's go double or nothing. And you win that game too. Now he owes you 200 bucks. Calls you a third time, says, you know what? Let's double or nothing again, 400 or zero. And um, he loses that one again. And he just keeps calling you and calling you and calling you and doubling the bet until one day you just realize you're just not going to get paid and you give up on it. Um, I feel like that's what's going on with the illegal naked shorting uh, in the stock market. We really don't know the rules. No one is going to take the lead in government or any other entity to really explain to us that what's going on is uh, legal. Uh, any explanations from the SEC have always been very vague. And uh, you're playing a dangerous game when you don't know the rules of that game. So it brings us brings us to this point you know what is the purpose of parking money in a stock that 
isn't going anywhere. It just isn't. You don't have the CEO on your side. You, you've already, you must have come to that conclusion by now that the CEO is not on your side. He's not interested in the short squeeze. He's only interested in using the short squeeze narrative to continue to get people to buy stock. And he keeps on selling more stock, right? Now, I know what some of you are going to say. You're going to say, well, I'm not looking for a MOAS anymore. I'm looking just to get even. Okay, that's fair. And that's a little bit more realistic uh, at this point, And I hope you get that. But please understand that after all this time, I guess we're, what, in two years now of uh, hearing about AMC going to the moon. I mean, I know a lot of guys are not doing that anymore. We're all caught up in the court systems with what's going on there. But you have to understand that you've, uh, and I was there with you, you know, this is this is coming from a guy that was just as fanatical at one point about it. I also went on YouTube to, to share that fanaticism regarding AMC. I was heavily invested. I think I had at most at one time $20,000 invested into AMC. I don't even play with $20,000 anymore in the market in general. Um, so the, the point of what I'm trying to ask you is, why do you continue to just park your money? Is it just because it's dwindled down so far now in this AMC investment that really it, it, it's not useful in another stock? Because I can tell you every single day there's an opportunity to make money in the stock market. You just got to learn other strategies of trading uh, and you've got to be a lot less greedy. They're going to pump multiple stocks on a daily basis where if you know how to chart to a certain standard or as a lot of us do, they use your gut. You know, something drops far enough that has a lot of volume. Sometimes you jump in at the right time. If you feel like it's reached its lowest point, you jump in. Uh, you let it rise up a little bit, you grab some cash, and you get out. I'll be honest, I do that a lot. I've been doing that in the last uh, three stocks over about maybe six, seven scalps. Uh, SQL, SHPH, WLBS. I don't fully believe that there is uh, really tools for us to have an edge in making money i know a lot of people like to chart and draw their lines up and down and left and right and all that stuff but my theory is that any information that is put in front of you for your eyes to see can be manipulated can be false so what are you really charting what are you what information do you really think you're finding out and to add to that i've seen people lose tons and tons of money in every direction the market allows you to trade i've seen people try to short lose tons of money. I've seen people play options thinking they've got that on lock, lost tons of money. I've seen people buy shares thinking uh, their stock's going to go up to the moon and, 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 and rip thousands and thousands of percent, and I've seen them lose tons of money. The market has already yelled loud and clear, this is not a place for you to grow your money. This is a place to gamble if that's what you're interested in doing. And I'll be honest on my channel, that's really what we're doing if we're being honest about it. Keeping with that honesty, I'd like to say that that's what I do. I don't mind taking gambles. I am a poker player, and at this particular point in my life, I'm an actual poker dealer. So I've been on both sides of the table, just like I've been on both sides of the table with uh, investing in the market, YouTube being, investing in AMC, so on and so forth. I've been a viewer. I've been an owner. I've been a YouTuber. I've been a non-owner and just watching from a distance. And I can tell you that I've analyzed a lot, a lot of things over almost two years that I've been on YouTube. So I'm going to cut this video uh, close to this uh, point. Uh, I just want to do this as friendly and as mature as possible. I understand that that's very difficult in YouTube. There's a lot of people that get very uh, excited to be able to, you know, be mean or angry or whatever. But you know what? My my thick my my thick my skin has gotten so thick these days from YouTube, and being a poker dealer because unfortunately when gamblers gamblers lose they want to blame somebody so unfortunately I have to sit at a table sometimes and uh, take trolling live trolling from people that lose and, and think it's my fault when I'm just dealing them the cards that are already stacked in in a particular order and will always play out the way they're supposed to play out. But if we can get past all that um, nonsense and just have a real discussion so that we can kind of find out what it is that we're actually doing or what it is that you guys are actually doing, holding AMC for two years, possibly in the 20s, 30s or above, and um, you know, letting that 
all go to zero. You, you just want Adam Aaron and AMC just to take all your money because it's kind of looking that way. And I can tell you that that reverse split is going to go through. And when it does, and that price is much higher, there's going to be tons and tons of people that are going to short that stock. And at that point, it might be the end of the road for AMC. Is that really where you want to be? You Did you, did you really mean it when you said, I'm either going to the moon or this money's going to zero? Because I can tell you that a lot of people pulled out of that uh, talking point. But let me know in the comments. You know, I just want to do this maturely with you. You know, we'll try to root out as much trolling and nonsense as possible. And uh, based off of your comments, you know, I'll uh, I'll do more videos going forward to see if you know if we can kind of cycle analyze this situation and why a lot of you got stuck mentally and parked money in a stock that's just gone nowhere but down. I've been screaming this for over a year and a half now. So let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can come up with. If nothing else, at least it's to have a conversation. You know, you're probably going to stick to your guns, uh, whichever way that is. I'm probably going to stick to not owning AMC um, unless it's going to be possibly my first time shorting a stock, which I am uh, definitely going to consider uh, when the reverse split goes through. But I'm going to end the video now. Let's see what you guys have to say. Thank you very much for your time. John Wick Sniping is out.